When one looks at overall yellowing occurring on the plant, when the plant has just paler coloration without it being intervenal, there are two primary problems that you need to think of. One is nitrogen deficiency, and the other is sulfur deficiency. There are subtle differences that you can use between the two to help differentiate which one is which. With nitrogen deficiency, the plant is almost always quite a bit smaller. Plant growth reduction is a very big characteristic that you see with this particular deficiency. You have pale coloration, yellowish coloration, and then sometimes you can have reddening of the tissue occurring on those plants. In contrast to that, with sulfur deficiency, you see the symptomology happening at the top half of the plant, and it has the similar overall yellow coloration. But because those symptoms take longer to basically appear, very likely the plant is quite a bit bigger as compared to a nitrogen deficient plant. So the location of where the symptoms occur and the robustness of the plant are two good characteristics that you can use to help differentiate between a nitrogen and sulfur deficiency.